Hello everyone. Um, tried to keep it a bit low key today. Um, as you saw in yesterday's video, I chopped off my hair. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Please tell me it looks alright. Today I actually thought I was gonna, you know, pre-film a lot of videos. So for next week it's gonna be a bit easier for me because I'm working again. When do I not work? But I didn't. I had a chill day. I did nothing and it felt good. It felt so good. So I thought I'll keep it lighthearted today and do a little bit of like what I do when I start feeling stressed and when anxiety kind of kicks in um, because it's been a lot recently with work so I know just recently at work I get a lot more like anxiety attacks and like panic attacks where I just start feeling uncomfortable and my chest gets really tight and like it hurts to breathe so usually in those kind of moments what I try to do is either just stretch like I will literally just lean back at my um, on my chair and like just lift my arms up like a crazy person just breathe for a few minutes um, or I will go up and hide in the toilets for a minute and just breathe there until I calm down. I've been listening to a lot of music at work recently as well but the problem is a lot of people ask me questions because we do have a lot of new members of staff so they don't know 100% yet on what they can and can't do so I kind of need to help them so I can't just sit there with my headphones on and ignore them all because they they need my assistance but I try at least keep it on a low volume so if they do ask me a question I can actually hear them calling my name. One thing that my uh, therapist taught me ages ago was basically when you start feeling anxious is to write down what you're anxious about and I know a lot of times anxiety you don't fucking know what's going on everything's going on at once um, but I've noticed the idea of actually trying to write down what exactly the issue is helps a lot and then going from there to see can you do something about it or is this more like a like a rational like out of your control situation a lot of time basically i would have worries like oh did i lock my car did i close my door of my flat um did i turn the lights off that kind of stuff which easy enough is normal worries i guess you can go and check but then I also had other worries of like, oh, is my friend's baby gonna be all right? Which is out of my control, is fully out of my control. It's just kind of the idea of identifying yourself, like what is something that is in my control, what's something out of my control, to kind of get grasp on it and uh, to make a list of things that make me feel better. So reading a book, watching your favorite show, listening to music, and whenever you hit one of those moments where you feel like you're hitting a wall, where you're getting that anxiety attack again, to refer back to the list of what makes you happy and try and do one of those things. I know it's hard when you're for at work, for example, you can't just, you know, put on your favorite show and be like, peace out bitches. <laughs> like, I wish I could. I guess it's easier for people who work in the office. Like you can just get up, make yourself a tea or get up and go to the toilet and hide in there for 10 minutes and then come back out. Like for example, today I kept watching YouTube videos to try and like get some more ideas on what to film and I could feel myself getting anxious, so I turned it off. I danced for half an hour to BTS's new album, like I proper was dancing in the kitchen, like the sun was shining, it was a good like 20 minutes to half an hour of my life relaxing and just letting it go. Oh my god, it felt good, children, it felt good. I feel like I'm just rambling on, but basically, yeah, try and find what keeps you calm and try and find out what actually stresses you out to work on that. A lot of times it is just work stressing me out and I can't quit. I wish I could, but I have bills to pay. Thank you, thank you for joining. It has been a great weekend even though I was working yesterday. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.